I'm Stacy. Welcome to the kitchen of my old Kentucky home. Today we're going to be featuring two holiday recipes Kentucky style. There's a famous gentleman's club that's still in operation today in Louisville called the Pendennis. And these are riffs on their recipes. The first is a great sauce for nice cuts of beef or other meats. It's called Henry Bain, named after the famous head waiter at the club. And then Jessica is going to be doing her take on the Pendennis Champagne Punch. Let's get started. For our version of Henry Bain's famous sauce, we will need one cup of prepared chutney, a cup of ketchup, three quarters of a cup of prepared chili sauce, three quarters of a cup of steak sauce, a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce, fourth a cup of pickled walnuts, one tablespoon of fine Kentucky bourbon, and a teaspoon of hot sauce. Okay, this recipe for our version of Henry Bain's famous sauce, uh, like Henry's, um, included a lot of prepared ingredients. I like to think back in the day, these, this was the, probably the early 1900s, 1910s, they think that he came up with this, uh, that he probably made a lot of these um, himself. So he probably made his own chili sauce, his own steak sauce, um, probably even his own ketchup and chutneys. Um, one of the things that they say that he used was um, pickled walnuts, and those are really hard to find um, these days. I had to order those on Amazon. Everything else is a little more easy. Now, we don't know if this is Henry's um, exact recipe because the club sells it to this day, and I still keep it pretty secret, but we um, came up our, with our recipe based on many different versions and a lot of vintage Kentucky cookbooks, so this is so sort of our riff on that. So the first thing we're going to start with um, are two of the most maybe exotic ingredients, and that is the pickled walnuts and we've got a quarter of a cup here and um, these were probably used because Kentucky has a lot of walnut trees so this would have been something that um, a lot of uh, cooks back in the day uh, preserved and so Henry had these around. The next, um, this is a pretty exotic ingredient. This is chutney, uh, which is a preserve of different sort of fruits. This one is a mango chutney, which we think that um, Henry might have used. I've seen recipes with um, peach chutney, even a peach bourbon chutney. And so this smells just real um, sweet and savory, you know, kind of like a, almost like a marmalade also. So the first thing we're gonna do is, um, because of the density of the walnuts and because the um, chutney is pretty chunky with things in it too, we're just gonna give that a couple pulses in the food processor. Get those gonna mix up, all right. And then we're just gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Not a whole lot of cooking per se, it's just a lot of mixing. So this is the prepared um, chili sauce. You can use you know, your, your standard grocery store varieties. Um, I uh, got one at the, the local gourmet grocery um, in Louisville called Lots of Pasta um, that I also picked up a um, bottled Henry Bain sauce to show you that you can get it prepared in groceries. Um, and this was a kind of a, a higher end uh, version. Then this is just simply A1 steak sauce that I'm using. Again, you can uh, use a, a more premium version of that if you wanted. Just red gold ketchup for testing purposes. Now the Worcestershire I used um, was actually um, our local Bourbon Barrel Foods um, age um, that we've um, used in several recipes before. And this is kind of a, a late add-on, um, adding about a tablespoon of bourbon. You know, a lot of things we do makes it better with bourbon, right? I um, didn't find this in a lot of recipes, but, but one or two, so we thought this would be a fun twist and very on theme. And then finally, um, this is depending on your taste totally. Um, I've found recipes, anything from a dash to a quarter cup of hot sauce. Um, we're using Frank's in this, and we went with um, a teaspoon. Simply going to put the lid back on this and just give it a couple more pulses. And you still want it, you don't want to get it so pureed that you can't, um, you still want some texture in there. You still want to be able to kind of pick up on the texture of the pickled walnuts and the fruits of the mangoes that were used in the chutney. So this is the consistency I'm going to keep it right now. So we're gonna pop a beef tenderloin in the oven, and while we wait for that to serve our Henry Bain sauce with, Jessica is going to do her riff of another famous Pendennis recipe, the Champagne Punch. The Pendennis Champagne Punch 
is a great holiday party cocktail, but once I start reading recipes, I realize the original does not include bourbon, so I'm gonna do my own take of it with bourbon and brandy as our main liquors in here. And the other ingredients are grenadine, bourbon, brandy, curacao, champagne, club soda, and fresh squeezed lemon juice. In a punch bowl, we're going to combine our ingredients here. We've got one ounce of grenadine, We're gonna do two ounces of bourbon. We're gonna do two ounces of brandy. And I'm using Copper and King's brandy, which is actually made right here in Louisville in the Butchertown neighborhood. So Kentucky bourbon and Kentucky brandy. And then we're gonna use two ounces of the dry curacao also. And then I've got the lemon juice from two lemons. And we're gonna add our bottle of champagne. Nothing more festive than the popping of champagne bottles. All right, and then I'm just gonna do um, a half of a liter of the club soda. And for serving, if you're gonna have this uh, punch bowl out on the table, I like to do, um, floating on top, just some cranberries and orange slices. And that makes it look extra festive for the holidays too. And just let that float right in there. So then to serve it, I just have um, a large ice cube and a glass. I'm going to um, add some of those cranberries for a garnish in here too. And that's all there is to it. It's the champagne punch. Jessica, as usual, you have made a wonderful bourbon cocktail that complements this very festive dish for holiday entertaining. Thank you. Uh, I was surprised I never made this myself, so when I was looking through these really old recipes for the Pendennis Champagne Punch, I was shocked that it was brandy and no bourbon. So I think we really improved it with a little bit of bourbon. I think you did, and I think we improved the Henry Bain sauce with a little splash of bourbon as well. Agreed. Right? So this dish is, um, is, we paired it with a beef tenderloin. Again, it makes a nice holiday setting. You can eat it year-round. One of my favorite ways to eat Henry Bain sauce is on the steak sandwich at Bristol Bar and Grill here in Louisville. Um, but you'll see it on menus throughout the state. Um, and you'll see it on a lot of carving stations at weddings. It's usually paired with also like a sour cream and horseradish sauce. I kind of like to mix them. It's kind of pretty. And uh, one of my favorite things to do with them is to um, uh, bottle them. They last for several weeks uh, in the refrigerator and use them as holiday gifts, hostess gifts, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I've been eating Henry Bain sauce around town for probably my whole life, basically. But could you tell me a little bit more about Henry Bain himself? Oh, sure. Um, we didn't really do that. So he, um, Henry was um, born in 1863, so during the Civil War. And he went to work at the Medennis. It didn't open until 1881, so somewhere in, in the 80s, he went to work as an elevator boy and literally um, rose his way to the top. <laughs> um, he ended up as the head waiter. So it was probably when he was head waiter that he came up with this um, sauce. And, and again, it was for not just meats, um, but fish um, and different types of game that apparently the club members of this old gentleman's club would bring into the club and he would serve it with Oh, that's that. really interesting. And um, so, in, in fact, there I think that there's only on their third head waiter um, since that time, is how far the, the history of the club goes back. 
Now, as I, as I said, you can see it um, menus across the state. I found it in a lot of uh, vintage cookbooks and kind of just made mm -hmm. the, the riff of this recipe on it. And you've had this actually at the Pendennis Club, I right? I have. I've um, been to many weddings that they mm -hmm. um, serve it on the carving stations there. Um, and now they bottle it now. Um, a couple years ago, they um, gave the rights to Bourbon Barrel Foods, so you can order it online through them. You can get it at lots of pasta here in Louisville, uh, at a lot of the Kroger stores. Um, Pulse Fruit Market, that awesome. kind of place, or now you can make your own because you have this wonderful recipe. Yeah, so for this recipe and some locations where you can buy Henry Bain sauce or eat it when you're in Louisville, visit us at culinarylouisville.com and we'll see you here next time on bourbon and biscuits. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.